Pal World is in early access, so naturally, the first thing most of us did when we landed on Palapagos Island was set about doing our best to break it to all hell and back. And this early game pal and item combo makes the early days of getting to grips with Pal World an absolute breeze. So let's get into it. Generally, you may have noticed, when you're battling with pals out in the world, Pal World generally sticks to the same rules that Pokemon does. You can only use one of your pals at once when battling. Aside from the occasional bit of help from random wild pals, if the one you're battling accidentally catches them in the crossfire. But one of the earliest pals in the game comes with a very nifty ability that can change all that. Say hello to Daydream. These sheepish little nightmare creatures can be caught right at the very start of the game when you first spawn in. They're abundant and really not all that tricky to catch if you hit them a few times, generally coming in at around the level 5 or 6 mark. The one minor inconvenience is that they only come out at night. So if you spend your evenings tucked safely in bed, you'll miss out on them entirely. You can usually spot them relatively easily in the dark. Their bright purple mane gives them away even from a long distance. So keep your eyes sharp and you'll spot them easily enough. They also tend to come in pairs or trios, so you can bag a few per trip out into the night. Just make sure you've crafted yourself a bit of clothing before you head out into the dark. It gets cold out there and you don't want to be caught with your trousers down. Now, not only is Daydream a decently powerful pal in its own right, it comes with a special partner skill exclusive to Daydream called Dream Chaser, which allows all the Daydreams in your party to come out at once and aid you or your active pal in a fight, on the condition that you craft the prerequisite item to do so, of course. Remember, Pal World is a survival game, not just a monster collector. The item you need is Daydream's necklace, but you won't find one just carrying it around. The first thing you need to do is get your character to level 6, which will allow you to unlock the Pal Gear workbench. Build one at your base, and you're ready for step 2. Then, you need to level up to level 8, at which point you'll be able to unlock the necklace in the technology tab, but obviously, you're going to need to build it too. To craft it, you need to have 10 Paldium fragments, 10 fibre, and 5 leather. The fibre is easy enough, you should have gathered plenty while finding wood to put the bones of your base together, and there are plenty of Paldium deposits all over the island which you can beat up with a pick to stock up on fragments. Setting up your base near this pool of water surrounded by Paldium deposits is a pretty decent spot if you're looking for somewhere to start. The slightly tricky bit is getting leather, because it's only dropped by certain pals when you defeat or catch them. Fox Parks is an easy pal to catch and regularly drops the stuff, and you can also get it from pals like Melpaca and Ikthadir, or even Nightwings or Mamo Rests, although Personally, I wouldn't recommend going one-on-one -on -one with those last two unless you've got some more levels under your belt. With those resources ready to go, all you need to do is head to your pal gear bench and craft the Daydream necklace. Triggering its Dream Chaser partner skill, allowing you to have all of your Daydream follow you around and beat up any pals who look at you funny. And thankfully, you only need to craft one of these necklaces to trigger the whole party of them, there's no need for more. The Daydreams will be passive around you unless you yourself launch an attack on another creature, at which point they'll do their best to level whatever you're picking on with a series of blasts that are, I must confess, as hilarious to watch as they are powerful. Just remember that they won't be able to protect you or stop attacks from hitting you. The necklace might be OP, but it can only be so OP. Provided you aren't getting ideas well above your level, your little squadron of Daydream can take on anything within around a five level range of you, provided that you fight clever with your dodges and time your attacks. And trust me, they can be really useful, especially when you're trying to lock down, say, a Nightwing and secure your first flying mount in Pal World. But that's another video. Thanks for watching and stick with us at GG Recon for all your Pal World guides and news. And while we've got you with us, check out these videos here.